How's it going, you guys? So, I'm just here relaxing after about three hours of jujitsu. I just pounded down about two pounds of meat, and I'm going to be going back to jujitsu in about uh, two hours or so, give or take. And you would not believe what I just found on my newsfeed, okay? Apparently, Frank Tofano made a video accusing Paul Saladino of copying him again because Paul Soladino decided to experiment with a cut with like a tablespoon of honey or a teaspoon of honey or something like that so Paul Soladino has been um, experimenting with honey in, within the last couple weeks and just recently he brought on an expert um, who was and he was talking about uh, honey and its effects on dental health with the expert and now all of a sudden Paul uh, so Frank Tefano had made just a disgustingly narcissistic video talking about how he knows more about nutrition than everybody on the planet and how beautiful he is and all this other nonsense and um, basically Frank Tefano is upset because um, the big name carnivore youtubers don't want anything to do with him basically because Frank Tofano constantly makes false accusations about these people and is extremely just, he needs help. He's got psychiatric problems. And so now every single chance Frank Tofano gets to make a video about these people, to look like a victim, he'll take it. So Frank Tofano is trying really hard to victimize himself and make himself look like He's being wronged, he's being, he's getting, um, plagiarized and all this stuff. Look, um, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's not, it's not plagiarism. It's these people, they're experimenting. They have the right to experiment. You weren't the first, you know, meat-based dieter to have honey in his diet, okay? So, the other thing is that Frank Tofano has never been really gone been low carb for a long period of time so Frank Tofano I'm pretty sure has been eating honey and other carbs this entire time that he's claimed he's carnivore so I've made many videos about this in the past uh, people have posted screenshots of some of his posts on reddit it's verified it was him he's even admitted it or basically he's uh, he was eating bread for a while sprouted grain uh, soaked fermented bread um, and, uh, he's been, he's openly admitted to eating honey multiple times, uh, over the last three years that he's been on YouTube, or two years he's been on YouTube. He hasn't actually been on YouTube that long. Also, uh, so he used to have videos where he admitted he was only carnivore for like three years. Um, at the time he was only carnivore for about one year. So he's admitted he's only been carnivore since like 2017. Okay. On video. The problem is that he deleted all of his old videos uh, back in uh, early 2000, late, late 2018. He deleted all of his videos uh, and he was crying. He was crying on camera because he wasn't getting subscribers and he wasn't getting likes. And because people were criticizing him on his YouTube channel. And because um, he, he got uh, banned from like a Reddit forum because he was um, like freaking out at other people on, on the Reddit forum. So there's a long history of like mental problems with this guy. Um, and he's been desperately crying for attention since he originally got on YouTube. And, uh, it, but anyway, so in those videos he had admitted that he was only carnivore since like 2017. There's posts of him talking about eating uh, bread that date back uh, from 2017-2018 and uh, he has been making videos about how he eats honey and he eats ridiculous amounts of honey like eight tablespoons a day and he claims that he needs the honey for bodybuilding which I'm sorry you guys uh, I've been doing mixed martial arts powerlifting Olympic weightlifting for almost two years now on a mostly carnivorous diet so I've tried carb experiments and I found very little, if any, benefit at all from eating carbs. And the most benefit I've, I've found was a reduction in mental fatigue on my hardest training days from as little as 20 grams of dextrose powder, 
uh, once in the begin in the beginning of the of the day. I found no benefit from any more carbs than that, and even then, whatever benefit I get seems to be almost entirely psychological. Okay. Uh, and so Frank Tefano has also mentioned many times how he doesn't supplement with sodium because he thinks that it will uh, throw off the, rec the rest of his electrolytes and all this other stuff. So he hasn't been eating the recommended amount of electrolytes this entire time. He's been uh, supplementing with honey because he doesn't have his electrolytes on check, basically. And he's been suffering from mysterious health problems this entire time. So... He has said he has blamed his health issues on um, histamine, on sodium and uh, or on electrolyte imbalances, on adrenal fatigue, on all the stress he got when he battled vegan gains and lost miserably. Um, and that was just ridiculous. Okay, and I at the time was strictly keto carnivore advocate, but I could see very clearly that Frank Tefano knew nothing. <laughs> at the time of his first debate with Vegan Gains. And that's why he he, he got demolished. Um, he's Frank Tefano has claimed that, uh, that Dr. Berg plagiarized him about, uh, I think it was about iron overload. But Dr. Berg was making videos about iron overload since 2017, okay? Before Frank Tefano was ever on YouTube. And yet Frank Tefano claims Dr. Berg was plagiarizing him, okay, because Frank Tefano, because Frank Tefano eventually came out saying that he had uh, iron overload this whole time, and that's why he got all those problems. The thing is, he admitted he never got blood tested. So Frank Tefano just assumed that he had iron overload, hemocortosis basically, a genetic uh, disorder that makes your body hold on to iron uh, abnormally. And he never got blood tested. He came up with this crazy um, complex mechanistic explanation uh, between like copper imbalance and all this stuff, but he had no actual evidence of um, having iron overload. People with, with iron overload where they start to show symptoms, they have abnormal um, uh, uh, blood cell counts, they have, you can measure it with a blood test. They have high iron in the blood, okay? And so him and his excuses, oh, I didn't get a test because they're not adequate. I would need to cut out my liver in order to diagnose iron overload. I'm not gonna do that. Like, that's ridiculous. You can diagnose that with a blood test. So then he claims that he started uh, getting, he started having bloodletting. So here's another thing is Frank Tefano was drinking blood for a long period of time. And Frank Tefano also was eating crazy amounts of, um, what was it? It was uh, duck liver, okay? It was a food that was outlawed uh, because people who eat it too often, too frequently, and too high of amounts tend to get, uh, tend to have health problems from it. It was uh, fra, fra de gosse or something. Fra de gras. I, I don't know how to say it. Uh... So there was a lot of reasons why Frank Tefano was feeling like crap. And if he did have iron overload, which he didn't ever have a blood test, then he probably got it from drinking blood and eating crazy amounts of that duck liver or whatever it was. Um, but the thing is, he never got tested. So, And also, this whole time, he's been trying to follow, basically, a diet that's meant to be um, done in a ketogenic metabolism, but he's been eating these little bits of fructose, of honey. That's the worst carb for you to be eating on a ketogenic diet, okay? Uh, or whatever, carnivore diet that, you know, whatever. The point is, your body doesn't know whether it's trying to burn ketones or, or the, uh, liver glycogen. So fructose directly refills liver glycogen, and that's why it's recommended that if you're doing a targeted keto approach for bodybuilding, that you take dextrose powder or something like that, because it goes directly into glycogen, rather uh, into muscle glycogen, and it doesn't feed the liver. So you can bounce right back into ketosis. What was probably happening with Frank Tefano is that number one, he had a sodium deficiency because he had these weird ideas on sodium 
uh, wasn't eating the recommended five grams of sodium per day. Um, so electrolyte imbalance. And then he was eating uh, honey on and off, like up to eight tablespoons over, since he got on YouTube in 2018, he's been talking about eating honey. So he probably had blood sugar fluctuations and since he's eating fructose, uh, that's refueling his liver glycogen and ketosis it depends entirely on liver glycogen. So because he's constantly refilling his liver glycogen with honey, but then he probably has days where he's not eating honey, he's, he's suffering intermittent bouts of hypoglycemia with an electrolyte balance at the same time, okay? Also, blood does contain a certain amount of glucose, okay? So, I mean, there's a lot of things wrong with his diet, and the reasons why he had all these health problems probably lie within some of those things I mentioned. But now, you know, he, he's accused Dr. Berg of plagiarizing him. He's accused Primal Edge Health of, like, um, some weird conspiracy. Like, these, like, Primal Edge Health was one of Frank DeFano's only YouTube friends. Then Frank DeFano turns around and starts freaking out at him. So Tristan from Primal Edge Health offered Frank DeFano to get on um, to his podcast and discuss all of these crazy accusations. But Frank DeFano was not going to do it because he wants to play the victim and doesn't want to solve his problems. So Frank DeFano has been isolating himself from all of these other YouTubers. Oh, and Frank DeFano came out lying about having a girlfriend and all this. And he's, and he's, you know, he's been, um, it's been proven Frank DeFano has been lying about his, uh, his sexuality this whole time. And he's been insisting that he's straight. Somebody actually found um, a chatterbait video where Frank DeFano admitted to doing some pretty disgusting things um, for money, okay, with men. And so, and Frank DeFano was insisting that that never happened and all this, instead of just being open, openly admitting it. So Frank DeFano has been lying about being carnivore, lying about his health problems. He doesn't know, Frank DeFano does not know at all what what is going on with his health. Okay, he has no clue. He's blamed it on all sorts of things and and telling his subscribers about histamine intolerance and all this crap. You know what I mean? He still doesn't know what's wrong with his health. Now Frank Tefano's uh, saying that he's going to start adding fruits and, and tubers and things within the next two years. He says something along those lines. Ugh. And I've made videos about Frank Tefano and... and you know, the red flags, but, um, I, I feel like they're just too vulgar. So I put them, I think I put them on private, uh, because I don't want for any, you know, I don't want for my employers to see that and then like get the wrong idea. But the thing is, it's important for people to see what's going on with him so they don't fall victim to his poor health advice. So now we have Hinch Herbivore who made a video about him, about Frank DeFano becoming an ex-carnivore, right? And so now we have a horrible example of like a, a low-carb carnivore keto YouTuber who isn't, who's never really done it properly. And it, it, literally this guy has psycho, psychological problems. Like, and they're very obvious. And he's accusing all these people, anybody who doesn't give Frank DeFano the attention Frank DeFano wants is all of a sudden some kind of conspiracy NWO person. <laughs> he accused Sean Baker of, be, of working for the NWO or the CIA or something. Dude, how can you trust Frank Tofano after all this crazy crap that he said or he's done? I think that most people, they, they subscribe to Frank Tofano later on and they haven't seen the crazy tornado of nonsense Frank Tofano's put them through. Uh, all the lies and things he's been exposed of and all the crazy things Frank has said. He said... He, and he's con Frank DeFano is constantly exposing himself. So I think people are, are just like, oh, well, you know, sure, there's a little bit of red flags, but he's a good guy, you know, blah, blah, blah. But they haven't followed Frank DeFano since, uh, like, 2018, like I have. So <laughs> they don't know how crazy he is and how wrong he is. Um, so... Uh, if you want a, a gigantic overview of all the uh, psychological problems Frank DeFano has, 
And if you if you if you trust Frank, you need to watch this video so you can protect yourself. Uh, go and look for Primal Edge Health and his Frank Tefano video. I, I'm not sure if it got taken down or not, but it, it was amazing. Uh, Tristan from Primal Edge Health just went through all of the holes in Frank Tefano's sanity and exposed him, at, and rightfully so. Um, you know, because people who go to the carnivore diet and look for information, and they see this example, Frank Tefano. So Frank Tefano, by the way, I'm a strength and conditioning coach, and I have been training athletes for um, about six years now. And I'm telling you right now that Frank Tefano and the transformation he made recently, it looks to me like he's on a combination of, um, of human growth hormone and some type of steroid, uh, probably some uh, testosterone and human growth hormone and a combination of other things as well. He looks like he's on some type of roid, uh, but I might be wrong, but the guy does not know how to train either. He's made these workout videos where he claims that progressive overload is, uh, is a myth and all this crap and that you want to do slow and controlled movements with light weights where he shows exercise exercises with horrible form where he basically almost breaks his back and he ha he overextends his uh his shoulders on on uh machine chest flies like literally if you follow frank defano's workout advice you're going to tear your rotator cuff and it's dangerous. That's the most dangerous. Out of all the crazy things Frank Defano has said, his workout advice is the most dangerous. His form in particular. Uh, and the thing is, in order for your muscles to grow in size, they have to progressively be put under more and more stress over time. You know what we call that in exercise science? We call that progressive overload. So Frank Defano knows zero about exercise science and he, he doesn't know what progressive overload is okay so if you are lifting weights slowly the more ten, the more the slow the like slow like if you get a little bit slower a little bit slower to make the exercise more challenging over time that's progressive overload you're using you're using tempo to um, increase progressive overload okay you can use more sets, more reps, more weight, uh, slower, slower reps, like slower time, like like changing the tempo. You can do all sorts of uh, decreasing the rest time. Those are all ways to to uh, progress in your weightlifting, increase muscle size and hypertrophy through progressive overload. So Frank doesn't know what progressive overload is. Anyway, um, yeah. So most people blindly follow Frank Tefano and they're he's just like they got these heart-shaped glasses on they don't they can't see the truth and they're gonna be commenting on this video without watching it like they're not gonna watch this video okay they're gonna be telling me why I'm an idiot and I'm jealous and Frank and all this stuff but let's not forget Frank Tefano um, he has gone through like three different reconstructive surgeries on his face he got random gynoclamastia surgery randomly after doing a GoFundMe account for his Frankie's Free Range Meat, okay? Randomly after he, he raised a bunch of money supposedly for his meat company, he got gynoclamastia surgery. That's very suspicious. And everyone was surprised. Like, why do you need surgery on your chest? You're a man, right? And you're not on steroids. He never had visible gynoclamastia before. I think he got the surgery before because he started roids is what I think. But nonetheless, the guy cares way too much about his appearance and way too much about what other people think about him. And he's got severe um, narcissistic issues, okay? And um, he's, he's been caught and exposed for lies many times and it's dangerous if you follow his advice and um, he should not be taken seriously, okay? And I don't really like to make videos because of drama I'll make a video about someone else, um, mostly, in this case, it's important, okay? It's dangerous advice, right? And it's on the verge of becoming almost as bad as some of these alkaline diet people. So anyway, post your questions and comments down below. I'm sure I missed a lot of points here, 
uh, it's important for you to uh, watch um, Primal Edge Health and their video on Frank Tefano because it covers everything, okay? Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next time.